So welcome back to our series on installing a VMware vSphere lab inside of VMware Workstation. Again, credit to Jonathan Frapier over on vertexpert.com for inspiring this series of posts. This will deviate a little bit differently from Jonathan's series of posts. We'll spend a little bit of time talking about network configuration earlier on in his in our series as opposed to his series. So let's overview our existing network. So far, we've pretty much gone out of the box with most of our configuration with the VMware and the domain controller on a NATed IP address of 192.168.112. And of course, our VMware workstation can see both the physical network, our 192.168.1.x network, as well as the virtual network. We're going to change this up a little bit. We're going to put our virtual host, the ESXi host, as well as the domain controller on the same network segment as our physical IP of our VMware host. The next picture, I hope to explain why we're making this change. One of the limitations with working with this configuration is even if you have a machine with 24 gig of RAM, 32 gig of RAM, you're going to run out of memory and you're going to run out of resources on this limited setup. If we were working with an ESXi cluster, this wouldn't be a big deal, but again, we're working with limited resources. So to make the most efficient use of our resources, we're gonna give ourselves the ability to add another physical VMware workstation host. So on the left-hand side of the screen, we have our physical, our existing configuration with the change of adding the host to the 192.168.1 network and on the right hand side we have a additional VMware workstation host or this can be a VMware fusion box with a virtual network and that virtual network has a uh, potentially our vCenter. So if we run out of resources when we start to do nested in our primary VMware workstation host we can move some of the management functionality over to a second host. While we can't do that necessarily with the ESXi host simply, we can do that with our management resources, so our domain controller, our DNS, whatever secondary Windows servers we have, we can have an environment dedicated to that host. So we'll go ahead and uh, show you how to do that. This change is fairly simple. We're gonna go to our Domain controller first, make the change there. Go to settings, find our network adapter. Currently, you can see that the network adapter is using the NAT network. We're gonna just change that to the bridge connected physical network. Now, there are some considerations with this. One, we'll be putting this on our physical network. So if you're running a DHCP server on your domain controller, Keep in mind some of the challenges you may run into, you may want to disable that because then you'll be serving DHCP addresses to physical machines that join your physical network. As well as uh, if there's any destructive services that you might run on these machines, we want to keep that in mind as we make changes to our lab. That's basically it in changing the networking. We will go into deeper detail on changing networks for, or adding networks for hosted or nested VMs, as well as some more complex things. So when we want, when we want to do vMotion and such, we'll add some complexity with that, and we'll show you how to use the network editor within VMware. 